Golf Channel on NBC and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx hey. Cup. What are we starting, golf vlog here? <laughs> All right, so today we're at Chalk Mountain Golf Course and uh, gonna walk you through my round. So we're starting hole number one, it's a par five, 531 yards, and I'm hitting driver off the first tee. I had a little bit left, but I get a, a nice good draw. That was a pretty deep one. So uh, it ends up running through the fairway and puts me underneath this tree, I'm about 200 yards out. So I just take a four iron and just kind of punch it out there and uh, leaves me about I think this was 95 yards. I take my 56 degree and uh, it was just a thick lie. Hit it a little bit off the toe. Ended up just a little bit short. Took my 56 degree for a little chip. First chip of the day. Rolls out nicely and I'm looking at this one thing and it's gonna go in and it just barely touches the lip and uh, lips out. So it's a tap in par. So a uh, good start. Next hole, hole two, par four, 357 yards. I hit this one striped right down the center. Gets me over the hill, rolls down and puts me on the upslope. So I have just a little uh, pitch shot. But I catch it a little chunky and I leave it short. I have a long 40 footer for birdie. So I really got to give this one a go. Give it a nice putt, good speed, good putt, another tap in par. So uh, next hole, par three. Third hole, 194 yards downhill. So I hit a six iron. And uh, you'll see here, but uh, not the best shot. You see like a divot flying that was chunked two inches behind the ball that barely made it to the creek. So I was thinking I was in the hazard, but luckily I had a shot at it in this deep stuff. Take a 52 degree from about 90 yards out and uh, end up in a good spot. So here's for par, a little left to right downhill slider, bunch of turn here. <laughs> and uh, pretty much a tap in. Still got to make those though. And that's uh, the bogey. So that puts me at one over par for the round. Next hole, par four, 352 yards. And uh, there's hazard left, so I'm just making sure I don't go left. Usually I end up spraying it out right, but this one was actually kind of down the center. Ended up rolling through about 50 yards out for my second shot. I hit a 56 degree. Little half shot, little pitch up there, land it, it rolls out to a pretty pretty good shot there. I'll take that any day. About a 12 footer for birdie. Give it a nice roll, a little right to left break, and it goes in there firm for birdie. So that's back to even par. Uh, fifth hole, par three, 173 yards. I had a six iron and I was right in between clubs. It was either a six or a seven, but I, I go with the six iron and I hit it just over and it goes over the green, which is not a good miss on this hole. As you can tell, it's sloping hard from the back to the front. And uh, I take this little, I'm pr pretty scared on this one. Don't want to roll it down because uh, that can easily roll off the green if you get it going too fast. So this is a tough putt here. And uh, just don't read it, don't give it enough break. So I tap in for bogey. I believe that's back to one over par. Par five, 470 yards, dog leg left uphill, take driver. And I'm trying to hit a draw here and just ending up, ended up hitting a little fade, which uh, is not a bad miss on this hole. Leaves me open. I have about a 240 yard three wood here and uh, pretty good, sh pretty good shot. A little bit of fade. He might be able to see the ball flying right there and it's just short, just right. And it rolls to this little, little chip shot right here. Third shot on this par five, chip it up. The green's rolling away from me into the left. Pulled it just a bit, but it's a, a good miss. Leaves me an uphill birdie putt. This is to go back to even par and uh, give a little fist pump action right nice there. Day. And then hole number seven, par three, 154 yards. Take a pitching wedge, it's a little bit downhill, a little bit downwind, and I just push it out to the right. But uh, it's on the green, we're dancing, got a tough putt this is breaking hard left to right so i uh aim way out there give it a good stroke and as you can tell my aim the gotta go far left and that ended up turning turning right great stroke there leaves me another tap in par so we're uh staying at even par through seven holes so par four eighth hole 337 yards downhill this is a pretty easy hole um, if you get a good drive you can drive it on the hole drive it to the green some days this one, I get a nice shot. It's a great tee shot straight at the hole. A little left to right, or left to right wind. Put me 
me right back to the middle of the green, middle of the fairway. So a uh, little chip shot, not very happy with this one. Took a 52 degree and just left it way short. So there's my birdie putt. Gave it a good stroke, just a little bit short, a little bit left, tap and par. Moving on. Or well, here's actually a little highlight from uh, Brian right stroke. here for birdie. Hey! He's birdie. pretty stoked on that one. Good job, Brian. Ninth hole, this is the second hardest hole on the course. It's a par four, dog leg left, 415 yards uphill. And uh, I just push it out a little bit to the right, which makes the hole longer. And uh, thankfully it was short of those trees up there. So this hole, this was about 180 out to the back pin. And uh, it's a little bit downwind, so I take a seven iron. And I don't know what happened, but I somehow it just flew the green and just left me in this uh, not so uh, not great spot right here. But you can see I'm planning out my shot. I take a nine iron and I flip it upside down and just swing left handed and do exactly what I was trying to do. I hit a great shot. That was so good. Give me 20 balls and I I probably wouldn't do that well again. So uh, here's a putt for par, and I'm really trying to give this one a go, and I give it a little bit too much pace right here. Leaves me about three and a half feet past the hole. But here's for bogey, and uh, I just pulled it. So that's a double bogey on hole nine. Puts me at two over on the front nine. So onto the back nine, par five, 520 yards. And this, is a, this was a risky play right here going driver. Um, and as you can see, I probably went 50 to 60 maybe 70 yards right so far right that it turned out okay i somehow found my ball on 17's tee box probably have i have no idea maybe 200 yards out down downhill i hit a six iron and i'm just kind of guessing at where the green was hit the trees fell down and had a chip shot so third shot right there that's a really poor chip but uh, i'm on the green so i'm putting for birdie and based upon my tee shot on this hole i will uh take the results on this hole any day so i have a little tap in for par and uh with that tee shot and the location i was i'll take that so next hole par four 318 yards and right here i'm aiming left trying to hit the trying to hit a fade back into the fairway just feeling confident with that shot today and i did uh i did just that hit it a little bit off the toe but it's in the fairway that's all you need on this hole it's about 120 yards out on this shot take a pitching wedge and just hit a, a really bad shot as you can see i'm not very pleased with that i was hoping to get within like 10 feet but instead i'm in the bunker with a top up and down short-sided but uh get it out there a little chunky leaves me about maybe a 12 footer for par and uh give it a good roll just broke more than i thought so that's a bogey puts me at three over par for the day and uh, next hole, par four, 333 yards. This is a somewhat risky play with the driver. You gotta carry trees. You can't go right into that tree right there. So uh, I had a big fade, perfect drive. Great drive, carry the water and uh, puts me right in front of the green, little chip shot and uh, another chunky, little chunky wedge. Gotta get closer than that, but uh, putting for birdie nonetheless. So uh, get a birdie putt. This is a tough putt. Breaks a little bit right, breaks back left, and a little uh, trick shot putt in for par. So then this is cardiac, hole number 13, 406 yards, toughest hole on the course. Taking another uh, aim in the left, hitting three wood, and trying to hit a big fade. I just didn't want to go right into the hazard, so I hit a fade. Feeling good about this shot all day, so I was just playing with it, going with it, and uh, hit a good shot right in the fairway. About 170 yards uphill, so I take a six iron because I just uh, always tend to hit short on this hole. But I bomb this one, hit a little bit right, back of the green. A little 56 degree, chip it up there. It's rolling, sloping away downhill quite quite a bit. Puts me at about two feet for a little tap in par. That, ooh, almost missed. So then you uh, got 134 yards. This was one was the back pin, playing about 138. I hit just a baby eight iron. I was just feeling this fade all day today and uh, just playing it. And that was a great shot right there. One of my best shots of the day. You gotta love that feeling right there when you're aiming for a shot and you do exactly what you're trying to do. And then come to the birdie and you roll it in. So there's a birdie, puts me back on track. I'm two over 
This is the easiest hole on the course. Par five, 463 yards downhill. I uh, felt like I pushed this one out right, but it ended up being right down the center. I'm about 180 yards out, and I was contemplating whether hitting a six iron or a seven iron. I throw my six iron away, and I hit a seven iron and try to take a full swing, and uh, wow. That's a, a bit left of the green there. So there's my third shot on this par five, a little chip shot, and this was a, a great shot down downhill, and it rolled, I guess it rolled around the hole, almost went in, and then we'll tap in birdie. Hole number 16, 221 yards, front pin. I hit a four iron, just a little bit off the toe, but it was right on target. Great shot, I'll take that one for sure. Here's my birdie putt. Give my birdie putt a good go. And uh, this one would have been for three birdies in a row, but uh, leaves me a tap in for par. And I'm one over, going into hole 17, my favorite tee shot. It's a dog leg left, 567 yards. And I just hit this massive, beautiful draw right over the trees, cut in the corner. Probably have maybe 250, 250 Aww. yards, hit a little three wood. And uh, ended up hitting a push fade into that bunker green side. So uh, third shot on this par five, sloping away, sloping right to left downhill. Kind of tough shot, but plenty of green to work with. And I hit a great, great bunker shot. Leaves me about... What is this, maybe five feet for birdie? Great stroke, and there's a birdie. Puts me back to even par on the round. That's a good stretch right here. Got going on, and here's hole 18, par four, 354 yards. I'm playing out right and just trying to hit a big draw, trying to take left out of play, and I hit a, a great shot. And I, I know hitting right is okay on this hole and gives you a good angle. So here I have about 94 oh. yards, hit a 56 degree to a back pin and just catch it a little off the toe, a little short. And here's birdie putt. This is to shoot one under par, and a great line, just a little bit short. Tap in, par. That's a even par, 72 on the round. All right, guys, thanks for watching.